Hello, everyone. Holy crap. Welcome back to another episode of Jedi Talk. I am your host, Brad Hughes. The whole council's here. Tom's back from Chicago. Yo. Holy shit. Obi-Wan trailer. There's so much to talk about. There's a lot of cool things to get into. But first, to my right, the man, the myth, the legend, Evan T. Boucher. What's going on, brother? Hello there, my friend. Speaking of Obi-Wan, hello there. It's the best time to say that Woo! phrase ever. You're not wrong. Man, that trailer, we'll talk about it, but made me cry like it was intense i didn't quite cry but i'm i i could have <sighs> yeah it was all I right there i could have but we didn't mention last week and not completely you turn here but you and i both had like an impromptu house of gucci watch together we did <laughs> that was out of nowhere we were within minutes of each other too yeah it was really he was at strange. his house watching house of gucci <laughs> for the first time i was at my house watching it for the first time what'd you think and it was good it was Hey, but it was forgettable. But yeah, like it wasn't. I actually started like d- like washing dishes and doing stuff while it was on in the background. Yeah, that's a sign of a good movie when dishes are does a better alternative. <laughs> does Jared Leto ever f- ever like fit in a movie ever? I, no, dude. Because he was like in a different movie. Completely different movie. What the hell was he doing? What this is a me, I'm Jared Leto and Mario. Like, the family yeah, it was. Th- and do people and never like, tell him not he, to do that? Do they ever say, hey, hey, don't do that? Adam like, Driver would literally go like. What what are you doing? It's in my family. Right. He, have you seen it? No. Adam it's, Adam's I, good. I'm not, dude, I'm not even. Lady like Gaga's I'm okay in it. I'm barely joking. Like no, I'm yeah, he's be- no, he's not exaggerating. I believe it. Yeah, it's like, but they're all like, okay. <laughs> it had uh, it had one of the Alfreds in it, and he was good. <laughs> Who was it? It had a. Uh, well, I'm a terrible fan right now. Michael Caine. Scar. Oh, Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was good in it he for a little bit. I didn't bit. even recognize that as no. him for like the first time. Me neither. I was like, oh, dang. I was like, oh, shit, that's Jeremy Yeah, as Irons. soon as he spoke, yeah. And but fresh out of, sh- straight out of Chicago. Gotham. The, ginger, the gingerbread man himself. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a funny Wrong name. season for that, man. You should have said that months ago. <laughs> <laughs> the gingerbread man. Tom Oker, what's going on, bro? By the right of the council, by the will of the force, if you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Such a good. Did you play around with that website I sent you? What was that? Did you play around with the website? Yeah, I yeah, I did. The Riddler's it's website. So yeah. yeah, I heard about that. It's definitely a sequel. It's coming. There, every single date, like, like they would pop a date. It was like Batman's, like the first date he was in a comic. The first date we saw Penguin. The first, like the first comic we saw the Joker. The first comic we saw Catwoman. And then there was one. Uh, the first comic we saw the Riddler. And then the interesting one was they put the date, the first date we saw Two Face in there. So. Might be. I mean, the the district. Uh, spoiler alerts for the Batman, but the district attorney did die in the Batman. It's true. So, I thought they were. He's got to be replaced by somebody. I thought they were going to introduce him there when that happened. Oh, maybe. Movie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they could have, but that that would have been a lot been too going much. on. It'd yeah, be too much. A lot going on. So, so. you're fresh. Uh, you, we caught you fresh out of the theater the other night. You have did. You that was. You've all? had that time was, oh to no, let it ruminate. No, I still think it's better than the Dark Knight. I watched the Dark Knight on my day off Monday after I walked into my place at six a.m. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I don't know weather in Denver. Weather it, it snowed in Chicago when we were leaving, so whatever. But beautiful wedding uh, that I went to. I officiated it. Hey, I can always marry you guys now. So let me know. Well, I think Brad's already engaged, so I don't think I I'm could. Not engaged? He's not good. That's true. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Ten, yeah. twelve, eleven, two years, whatever. <laughs> I'll be ready in, in a little bit with Brad. Me and him, we can. There you go. Us. We can go to the Halcyon. Yeah, yeah that's the way. I will marry you on the Halcyon. There that's we go. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I got back from good old Chicago. Yes, I said Chicago. Um, <laughs> I am from there, but uh, it's a good, pl- it's good city to visit. Uh, yeah, I I watched the Dark Knight on Monday when I I had to take a prompt day off because I was tired as shit. And the Batman is still better than the Dark Knight. And I know Kyle and I are going to get in, get into it on the fourth mother, fourth mother box. Mother box last yeah. week. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It, it wasn't happening. I figured. Just, yeah, um, but we're gonna we're gonna do a heavy episode of the Batman on Sunday, and him and I are gonna go to blows about Dark Knight and the Batman because I I think the Batman's better, and just I I it's don't want to get too too off the beaten path, but like the stuff that Nolan did, I just don't feel like those movies are aging well with me. They're they're all f- phenomenal, and I think the Dark Knight is a masterpiece, but it's a little too Rachel Dawsey, and I, I'll just leave it at that. Rachel Dawes is who Maggie Gyllenhaal played, and then Katie Holmes in the fr- in Batman Begins, who got recast. I thought you meant Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Rachel Dawes is the actual character's name. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, he, she's Bruce, the one that blows up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Bruce's love interest, and she's going to marry Harvey. 
And yeah, I can see that. It is focused on her. Not it's to say it's that. just I don't like when Batman's in love stories, uh, unless it's Talia Al Ghul um, or Catwoman. I, I just a but rent. See, with Catwoman, at least in this iteration, it's a vulnerability, not a love story. Yeah. Quite now, yet. was Rachel Dahl's from the comics? Nope. Is that a character? Oh, she was nope. made up for the movies. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't know that's that. Why I didn't know I that either. I don't like it, too, yeah. Yeah, I, I can but see that now. But I don't... Like I like when directors take liberties and and, and producers or and like writers w- when they take liberties with that and I'm fine, but she was a, a, a pretty major character and she and she, yeah, she, yeah. she she was a symbol right she stood for Bruce a, another great loss outside of his parents and and Batman you know losing in front of the world yeah and then essentially that was the catalyst of Harvey becoming Two Face so. I feel like Bruce is a lot like Obi Wan. He's been through a lot of crap and he's lost so much. Nice segue. And he's been close enough to like I wasn't trying to get you off topic. No, 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 you're fine. Like he's close to that because like they both could easily just become major dicks and just like start killing everybody, but they don't. They don't cross that line. Yeah, still well, except Obi Wan killed Maul, still, but well, yeah, yeah. kind of had to. You, yeah. st- you still think uh, Batflex the best Batman? Yes, that's wild. I do, uh, but but the, look, give look, it time. Look, I, need, yeah, I, need yeah, to, I need to give finish me time. Justice League. I am. I am. Fi- I am very much. I heard that you called it Justice League. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I. I. Um. I very much have. Like Ben can be knocked off my my top. Like I'm ready, and oh I wait, won't be John? upset. Wait, he's the one that we don't like. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League. Snyder. Joss Snyder Whedon's cat. a fat prick. Zack's this league. I said it wrong. <laughs> Zack's this league. There you go. Yeah. God damn it. So Obi Wan trailer, guys. Holy shit! Dude, we're I going just straight for it. Right now. We're walking in. My hair stood up the moment <sighs> Duel of Fate started. In the yeah. Lucasfilm, like woo. Yep. Did you guys? We'll get to. The, we'll talk about. Did you see the Disney Plus logo at the end? Yeah, cutting through like like yeah, Qui Gon like and Obi Wan. Yeah. It reminded me of Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. When it works. Um. Yeah. When it works. <laughs> um. Let's get into this because this is obviously the biggest news of the week. Do you guys have notes on anything? I got some notes on that. I want to do just some like some general random housekeeping before we do. Like it's not related to Star Wars or anything. It's just as Disney fans, a Star Wars fan. Well, not really Star Wars. As Disney Park fans, you guys have been going to the park since we have Lightning Lane now. I don't know how often you guys wait in actual standby queues. Never. But <laughs> I hate Lightning Lane and Genie Plus more than ever after this week. I went to get on Flight of Passage. I had like an hour to kill. I had literally nothing else to do. I don't care about Flight of Passage that much. But it was like, oh, I have an hour of time. It's an hour wait. I'm going to get in line for it. So I get in line. I wait the hour. But I get to, like, the merge point, you know. They are letting go. I kid you not. At least 15 to 20 parties go yeah. before one party of standby. 15 That's to 20. Yeah. It's just, it's out of control. I get it from the perspective of I paid, I should get on quicker. Yeah. But... But Fast Pass wasn't that bad of a race. No. Fast Pass was like five to one. And the the best part, the five funniest part one. is <laughs> myself included. I'm guilty of it. I'll say it. Us standby people, instead of saying this party of two, you go and then fifty five genie plus people, we started going, party of two, oh you're they're with me too. Yeah, this party of three. And then oh, so we have party of six. We're going to go. So oh, yes, what you guys we, doing we stood up against this bullshit. Like, we weren't doing it. That's hilarious. So instead of a party <laughs> of, I was a party of one. Civil unrest. I'm here yeah, for it. I was like, <laughs> me and these five people behind me. Oh, yeah, we're a party of six. We're next. So we six went instead of me and then two and then three and That's then two. That's a smart way to do it. So we're like, How long screw did you that. Stand at that merge point? We were at that merge point for 30 minutes. God damn. It was oh just oh out of control. On. Seriously, I wrote it. I was taking notes. I was writing it all down. I was like, this is just out of control. I don't know how, what it's like on other rides, uh, but that was just, no. Fuck. When I was no, on thank Aero, you. When I was on Aerosmith, it wasn't that bad, but I was watching. Oh, uh, Test Track, it's 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 bad. Really? Yeah, Courtney and I did Test Track several Saturdays ago, and just, it was slow. Yeah. Uh, and then we realized it was slow because they were just fast-passing everybody. Yeah. Through, you know. Yeah. After like the first, it took me a little bit to go. Be like, oh, maybe it broke down or something. Like, but then I started watching. I'm like, oh no, there's just a sea of lightning lane people going in front of us. So, if you're ever there and that's happening to you, that's how you beat it. So just grab the people behind you and say, hey, we're one party, party of eight. There's 87 of us. <laughs> that's it. That's how it started as a joke. The guy in front of me was, how many people are in line right now? Like 3,000. Hey, it's a 3,000 party. But then it was like, huh. hey, let's Dude, do this for real. The merge is that's insane. Yeah, it was awful. That's nuts. It was awful. But I listened. I listened to your Jim Cummings interview finally oh today, yeah. dude. That was a that great was interview. From way back. That was a day. great interview. Thank you. I loved it. He's. I loved his line when he was talking about when you're trying to do like voices. It's 
he's I think it was like if you're doing an impression and it's wrong, like that's a new character yeah. or something like that. Yep. He's like no one can re- recognize it, so it's a new character. Yep. And he said what was the inverse of that? And he said like if you're doing a character that's like not this one, but it ends up being a different person. It's like, well, that's still a new character yeah. or something. I was like, that's genius. He's, like, he's a fascinating guy to talk yeah. to. And I loved how he was like making fun of people. He's like, hey, try acting without a face. Because that's what he does. It's harder, man. Like, yeah. I, th- I yeah. think voiceover is the hardest job in Hollywood. Because like, yeah. it, it's, it's, eas- it's, it's easy in some regards, but it's harder too. Like, you don't have to show up and do makeup and all that kind of stuff. It's easier in that regard. Yeah. There's no wardrobe. But it is hard to convey emotion when you're just the voice yeah but and like you're also having to rely on the animators to animate the yeah way you're feeling and he does a good job obviously though a great job because watching like winnie the pooh and tigger they still can make me cry it's and it's him it's just I his voice he is the best voice actor easily I mean, you can make mel, a case mel blanc is up there too mark yeah. hamill mark, mark uh, hamill mark hamill is a w- i love mark hamill but he can do like two things that's kind of true Jim's ha- he's got a Dude, wide, wide, v- wide voice. Oh no, I know. I, yeah. I'm not. I'm he not was, saying been Jim is better than Mark. He's been Hondo. You name it. He's been Hondo. It. Pete Winnie the Pooh. Tigger. Like the the what's the he bonkers. Be prepared in the Lion King. Bonkers. He t- yeah, he stepped in for Jeremy Irons. Yeah. He sang. Oh, Jeremy Irons. He sang that. Be yeah, because that, Jeremy's awesome. voice like went out for yeah. like the oh, scene, wow. so yeah, he stepped in. But they just ran out of time. Yeah. Weren't able to and then uh, and then last on him, uh, I was so happy that he's like he loved Robin as genie. Like just uh, obviously everyone does, but hearing him say that was just like yeah, like even the greats respect how awesome that was. That was w- that's one of the best roles ever. That's why it was yeah. so weird when they went live action. You're like Will Smith. I it guess. worked out, but like it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't a catastrophic failure, which it could have been. No one's going in like the way they're revering. Robin Williams' version of the genie, yep. his version. No one's going like, dude, that was an untouchable performance. Like, yeah. No. I don't think anybody expected that. No. Yeah. Not a Will Smith, I you know. I don't think so either, but like, it's just, I don't think anyone expected Robin Williams to do what he did with it. To make it I mean, such an iconic character. Sure, that's sure true. I thought it was going to be good, but yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's an iconic thing. I saw some people wanting Jack Black for that role. I wanted Dave Chappelle. Oh, that would have been good. I, I wanted something that is completely different. That Will Smith was like the most safe Choice. <laughs> oh yeah. Could have made for that. Yep. Dave Chappelle would have would have my was my choice. Juicy yes. small lay. It would have been. It, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been hilarious. Like having somebody that's just because he's about as funny as it gets. Hey, and juicy. Enjoy those 150 days in Cook County Jail, bitch. Oh, did he? 150 days and Shut 30 up. 30 months probation. Shut. Yeah, up. he has to spend. Why are they not reporting on that? Oh no, no, they are. They are. I, I saw ha- it. I yeah. haven't been seeing yeah. it today. That's fantastic. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, everybody's pretty happy about that. You and they're be. they're they're pulling up old tweets from politicians who are supporting him, and then like, nope, he's a liar. So, God, it's fucking ridiculous. Dang. We, we need to shut Twitter down. Yep. Yes. <laughs> shut it down. What else? No, nah, I mean uh, that's it. That's it. Lots Lightning of random. Lane ran- yeah. Fuck you, Lightning Lane. Yeah. I if I ever get called for that independent research survey, I'm gonna bitch the fuck about Lightning Lane. And Lightning Disney yeah, Disney me too. Genie Plus. Yep. I think it's one of those things that we're going to see change shortly. I really, really I do. Hope. Yeah. I, because they just dropped, I think y'all talked about this on y'all's show. Probably. Where they dropped the Space Mountain and a few other tracks. Yeah. From the individual it. Lightnings. Yeah, because yeah. that Genie. means no one's buying them. That's exactly. The only reason Even though, that. I mean, no one's buying the individual ones. People are buying Genie Plus oh, yeah, yeah, as yeah, a package. No, no, yep. one's, no one's paying $12 to go ride fucking Space Mountain. Yeah, no. I, I love Space Mountain. It's my second favorite attraction of all time. Third, because of Rise now. Yeah. I love Space Mountain. It's in my top five, too. I love it. Ever to ride that fucking ride. Nope. Ever. And there's and every I time care, I look. I don't care if I had friends that were here for their one trip only. I'd be like, y'all go do it for 12 bucks. I'll wait. I'm not yeah. paying for that shit. No. Every time I go look in w- when we're in Magic, like there's always one available at the time. It is at that current time. Well, like it's just an huh. efficient space. attraction. It can get so many people in that and out. Too, like yeah. That too, because it's got two tracks. Yeah. Like that helps so much. And if when they're really pushing it, they'll have two rockets on each track at a time. Like they'll oh, be, yeah. They'll oh, be boy. Loading, they'll be loading two rockets on yeah. each track. Yeah. Well, th- it does have multiple Every time there's a straightaway, that's a break point. So yeah. they can have like up to I five. Four or five on I think on it's four or five at time. most on one track. So you could have ten going at the most. Have you ever stopped at one of the breakpoints? No, I never have a break point. Stop for like a minute or so. No, I never I don't have. Think so that'd be scary. When it when it gets backed up. Oh, yeah. I never all, have. It's all running at the same time. I might have. It's on all computerized. Big so yeah, I it's the same with Thunder. Big Thunder. Straightaways are breakpoints. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. And lift hills, of a course. A while ago. Yeah, I saw um 
doing SeaWorld for the first time, whatever, a couple Saturdays ago. What'd I you s- think? Uh, I liked it. I mean, I enjoyed it. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll probably do the AP there, that, that low, low price of like 10 to 13 bucks a month, whatever it is. Um, I, I was about, we were trying to get on Icebreaker um, just to see. Like, I've watched videos on that. I, I'm underwhelmed by the videos for Icebreaker. I just wanted to see it. And they got, they got stuck at a break point, even though it's like, it's like a break point for Icebreaker. But they were going backwards, and they just stopped, like, in their tracks. <sighs> like, Jesus. Wow. That'd be scary, too. And they got everybody off. And I'm like, nope, we're getting out of this line because it's not going to go up anytime soon. How long was the line for that? 45. It's not terrible. Dang, no. it's not bad at all. I thought it was worth it. All right, fellas, let's yeah. talk Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Kenobi. Kenobi. In my mind. All right. Eye. Who wants to start? Who wants I to start this shit off? I, I don't have any notes. <laughs> I just I came. I love how they just like the morning of, or like here's some images, and then it was like, never mind. Here's the trailer. You it's and like we were talking. Uh, you said what was I the? Think you said it's gonna be today. What yeah. was the strategy of that? Like here's images. Nah, never mind. Like here's the whole thing. Like I don't know. They, Disney was doing their earnings call. So they were going to bring up Kenobi. Okay. There are going to be questions about that. There's so yeah. so many more weeks you can do not have a trailer. Yeah. You think this is the only trailer True. we get? No, no, no. no. We get we're one we're more. definitely getting a second. I don't want to see any more, actually. I was, I'm like, that's it. Dude. Because like, as good as a trailer was, I remember him saying the trailer is going to blow your mind. That did not blow my mind. Yeah. It met no, the but I it had, showed but me it more than I thought. Like, if they showed us young Luke and Inquisitors, like, what are they hiding? What are they not showing us? Vader. Vader, yeah. But we know he's not really hiding. We know he's there. I know, so. but... Qui-Gon. So funny. Are Qui-Gon they hiding either. Qui-Gon? Qui-Gon won't be in the trailer. No, that's no, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So they're showing us these Lukes and Inquisitors, oh, yeah, but yeah. they're hiding Qui-Gon. It's so funny because I messaged you this morning when we saw those inter- – that morning we saw the entertainment inter- – what was it? It was Entertainment Weekly, entertainment weekly or, or yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, those images, and I was like, I don't know if this is the tone I wanted because they were showing like – Futuristic, like it looked like a that neon city. They yeah. said is like Tokyo to- Hong or Kong. Hong Kong. That's Hong what it was. Yeah, uh, and I was like, Di- oh great, Di- another Di- new planet. It's like Di- 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 Mo? Do we? Uh, we know for like sure that. that's the new planet. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. Yeah. The director is not Deborah Chow, Coruscant but in my back me too. Brain, me too. Like, you could do that on course. It looked. Yeah. You should have. I, I I felt like that was Lothal for a hot minute too. Could have been Lothal. Oh like, yeah, could have like been. That would have been cool. Maybe he's like tracing Ezra or something. That would have been cool. Ooh, that would have been. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Something That'd be cool. Into Ahsoka. You got to do something to get him off the planet. And I mean, it looks like he's just doing a bread trail, you but know, for no reason. Oh, Kane and Jarrus is still alive. Oh, Kane yeah, and Kane. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's met Ezra yet. Well, no. Hang on a second. So we don't know how old Luke is. So he, he looks like he's like ten. 9, 10. 10. Did yeah. Say 10? It's, it's 10 years after episode 3. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah. 10. Yeah. So this is before Rebels because we see. Leia in Rebels, and she's like 15, 15 16, 16 yeah. yeah. The shot that stands out to me the most from this whole thing was when the uh, Grand Inquisitor is taught, like the over, their, their Who's he like interrogating there? Like no, 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 like just the, the voiceover. Oh, okay, okay. That and Narration. That, that shot where they showed the person being hung. Yeah. That, that was dark shit. That's what you want from the show. That's and what that's we all like. That's got to be a Jedi, right? Because they're talking or about... Or an informant or, like, yeah, I was a say, guardian of the will, yeah, like I, a cheer it type guy. Yeah, maybe somebody who's, like, won't tell him where well Obi-Wan they're is. They're not looking for guardians of the will because then they would have to kill all the Sith Force users. Force users. They're, they're looking for Jedi, right? The ones that right. Inquisitors are hunting Jedi only. Yeah. Yeah. Inquisitors hunt Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's their only job. Yeah. So why would you hang an informant? Wouldn't you kind of... To send a message. To draw Obi-Wan out be like, hey, we're killing all these innocent people. Come save them. Devil's advocate, if you're trying to get information about where Jedi are, why would you make it known that you're going to kill an informant? That's true. Make a public spectacle of killing a spy. Yeah. You would want that information. Well, maybe they got it, and they kill him anyway. Yeah. They could have made the point. Like They, they were like, hey, we won't you kill you if you tell you. us. Go ahead and tell us. And then they tell him, and they're like, eh, never mind. Slice. That's Slice a bad look dice. if you're trying to get people to tell you secrets. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um. I, it, it, I I couldn't have asked for anything. I, w- I wanted to see Vader, but I kind of don't. I kind of don't. No, they they did There's give us an image of Vader. They gave yeah, us yeah, yeah we got the yeah. image, but but in the trailer he's not there. The image it. looks like it's a, sh- a shot from Rogue One. Like yeah, you can't does. really tell. Yeah, it's yeah, like you can't tell. that so could have been a deleted sh- scene from Rogue One. Like Do I, I don't know. know. My favorite scene was, and y'all are gonna. Oh, be me too. I I sat on the couch and yelled. I was like, it's the go ahead. The Inquisitor Fortress. Yeah, Inquisitorious. Yeah. Yep. Fortress Inquisitorious. Yeah. Fortress Inquisitorious. It looked just like the video game. It was was beautiful. Yeah. That was awesome. Beautiful. Do you think they're going to mention? Because when, yeah. when does they'll Fallen say the Order name of it? Five years after Revenge of the Sith. So okay, I didn't know that. That's cool. 
five years before later. this then. So Cal will be about like 22, 23, something like that. Okay. Man, so he's okay. hopefully he's with Sear, and they could easily bring in those actors. I don't want them to, man. Deborah I Wilson. I mean, th- look. Deborah I, Wilson. I think she's the one who played Sear. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was De- – oh, I was thinking Deborah Messing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? She was in that game? The chick from Will and Grace? <laughs> they – you know – I what I expect is I'm sure the inquisitor like the Grand Inquisitor will be talking and I would love if he mentions how the the second sister died so like hunting a Jedi yeah. by, by by Vader himself yeah. like ah like yeah I'll do a Leo point moment there that'd be a lot of fun that'd be sick but yeah I'm with you like like as much as I want to see Cal in live action Obi Wan or Obi Wan Kenobi doesn't doesn't need it we don't no. want the show to be too overstuffed because right. it's already got Vader it's already got all the Inquisitors that are alive. It's like, that's a lot going on. Grand Inquisitor, the fifth brother, and that new Inquisitor. Moses Ingram playing yeah. Reva. Yeah, yeah, Reva. Yeah, she looked badass. She, she, looked like, she looks like a perfect Inquisitor. I want to see her helmet. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see that helmet. Her hilt looks dope. I paused it. Was able, I want that. Oh. That's, that's the thing I was going to bring up like eventually. Hill, like, like a little bit. Kind of shadow Does hill. this mean that we're one step closer to getting yes. legacy 100%. Inquisitors at 100%. Docks? 100%. Good, because I've been wanting that since day one. That'd be I'm sick. buying one as soon as it comes out. I might jump on that just as much as I'm going to jump on Cal. Yeah. When he drops. Yeah, no, we'll get the Inquisitor one before Cal. So. You're right, yeah. <laughs> Cal's will be 2028. Yeah. Bunch of bullshit. So uh, another hair-raising you know, moment was when the Tool of Fate started with, with yeah. Lucasfilm. And then we get right Battle of the Heroes in there, too, yeah. at the end. Like oh, my God. The two best pieces of music from the Easily. The, sequ- the prequels. Easily. Sorry. Easily. Yeah. What do you think this next trailer is going to show? Because I feel Vader. like we got, we got the It'll story. It'll show something about Vader, yeah. We got the story. He's looking after Luke. Yep. They're hunting down the Jedi. Yeah. Which is exactly what we all thought this was going to be. I like which that. Is good. That's I like I that stuff with Uncle Owen. Like, they're interrogating him, and that's going to be him being like, this Obi-Wan dude is bad news. Look what he's bringing this, this Inquisitor to my door. Like, we got to distance ourselves. Here's my, here, here's my prediction for the second trailer. We're, we're going to get... Uh, Vader igniting his lightsaber, and you're gonna hear him breathe. Yeah. Um, and then I believe we'll get a shot of a very concerned um, Bail Organa on Alderaan. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Sh- That'd I, be cool. I think they're gonna they're gonna tease that a little bit because that would be I, cool. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Leia in this. You, I, yeah, for sure, for sure. I hadn't thought about that until you just said that yeah. about Leia being in that, but he has that could be why he's going to another planet. Yeah. He's trying to meet with Bail. To check in on Leia to see if she's yeah. like, hey, keep sense. Leia safe too, yeah, and like, what's going on with her? That, I so never did either. Now. Yeah, I never Maybe did. Maybe that's why he's going off planet, because he's uh, he's looking after Luke. He's no Luke's safe on Tatooine. What about his sister? He's going to tell Bail about Leia. Yeah, like Vader fuck. might know about fuck, him. Fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. Yeah. He's got to, and and he can't send any transmissions or anything like that. Yeah, because gotta go in person. but yeah, he's got to do it in person. Got to make sure she's okay. He what tells. Ha- what happens to Bail Organa? They just go, they go to Alderaan? Yeah, he goes to Alderaan and poof. In Rogue yeah. One, he's like, I'm going to go back to my planet and like get in contact with people and oh, warn yeah, them. That's right, that's right. So it kind of retcon, not really retcon, but kind of made it was like, maybe some people survived because Bail was going there to like let people know things are going down. But they didn't know they were being targeted. What, what do you mean retcon? Like, I'm not before. retcon. I, that's why I said not really retcon. Like, where the entire planet was just murdered, maybe some people are safe now because Bale went and got some people off, just out of hey things he went are going and got on. Got them off. Yeah. Them off. Yep. Yeah. He got them all off. <laughs> got them all off before they blew. Porn. There was something else I was gonna bring up about this. Oh, live action Inquisitors. Mm-hmm. They look yeah. fucking fantastic. Yeah. They look perfect. Big Everyone's bitching looks about better than the Grand Inquisitor, I think. Yeah. But yeah. I Again, you have to go. You're translating that live act, or yeah, cartoon to live. Yeah, long head. That's yeah. not going to translate well to live. In a action. way, though, because we have had Tion Medon from Revenge of the Sith on Utapau. That's the species of the Grand Inquisitor. Oh, yeah, so we've true. had a live action um, Powan. Yeah, but his his Jesus Christ. His features weren't that exaggerated like they were in, in Rebels. Yeah, that's true. Like Rebels is a cartoon. You can't and also, translate one to one. Also, Tion Medon was in, in the Rabbit. movie you for could thirty not seconds. Just a rabbit to real life. No. It would look it's terrifying, ridiculous, it's creepy to have see someone with a waist that's six inches. Yeah, like it like wouldn't. It wouldn't work. So that's you, ca- you have to. It's, it's come on. Yeah, but like and it's the live action one we did have was only in Revenge of the Sith for like 30 seconds. Right. He said like six lines, there'll be one, and then was gone. And that's the one where he shows up on Utapau, and he's like, yeah. unless you brought it with yeah, you. Yeah, there's no war here, unless no you brought here. it with he's you. He's like, help us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suck your dick. Yeah. I'll blow you in your fucking uh, Good stuff. Um, 
yeah, we're, there's just like there was so much to unpack in that trailer, but like not a lot happened. I know, it, yeah. which which is the good part. Exactly. Right. I don't it's really want to see anything. It's like almost like with the Book of Boba Fett first trailer where they're like, okay, this is like the f- only one scene. Uh, you know, it felt all like t- knit together. Yeah. yeah. It, all, it felt like I would not be shocked if what they showed us was just from the first episode. Oh, yeah. I would not crazy. be shocked. Yeah. Because Potentially. There's only six episodes, right? Seven, six? They haven't said probably six. It's six. a limited series. It's yeah. probably six. And they're all going to be I less than an hour. Limited so. series, man, we're getting a second season of this. I already saw a rumor I'm, I'm, that, that Kathleen Kennedy talked about the possibility of it's it. It's happening. Yeah, yeah, there's always a possibility, yeah. But, but I don't, I, like, at, cer- at a certain point, just let it be good. Like, don't leave it on a cliffhanger. Finish the season, and if there's something else to tell... But let's wrap up this story here, the one that Deborah Chow created, because yes. I think this is the, s- the part of the story that I'm most interested and in. She's directing all s- whatever episodes, all blank episodes. She right? is? Six, that's seven. That's what they said. That yeah. Was, which I don't know. I feel like they're going to, th- that's too much to do. I, I what if they he, sneakily if drop George Lucas in one episode? Produce, that would be incredible. I think I think she's going to produce everything, but I think they're going to have to have other directors. Yeah. That's Maybe. a lot to put on one person. Hey, that's direct this six hours of but Star that's Wars. That's why it's like taken three fucking years to get the show. Could be. This, Dave is, this is like the worst direct se- kept rumor forever. We all know. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Dave Filoni directs one, and it's like all about Ahsoka for some reason. <laughs> you, you'd never see it's Obi-Wan still Ahsoka. <laughs> it's still Ahsoka. You see me throw something at the TV? <laughs> um I wouldn't be shocked if they try to redeem Ryan Johnson just to get that trilogy on board. I'm and telling sneakily you, I'm telling give him up. Sneak yeah. him in some sometime in oh. the future. It's gonna be like directed by Ryan Johnson, and then he's just there's gonna be a picture of him flick, flipping. They're gonna be like, "Oh great, he ruined." Bitches, you love this episode. They're gonna be like, "Oh, he ruined Luke. Now he ruined Obi Wan." Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done this, but uh, it's six yeah. forty two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Brad That's Nevin, yeah. and everybody out there in Orlando, Florida. Kyle, you s- specifically, you piece of shit. The Last Jedi is still. Cannon, 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 cannon. It's more cannon than the cannons on Rise of the Resistance. Sway. It is. It's more cannon than those cannons. They need to fix that. That shit's jank. Yeah. Um, what else from the trailer? It was cool, I like as a super nerd. Oh yeah. It's Poncho's dope. It's poncho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black it's series Poncho. Wonder where he got the yeah. Poncho from. Very Gwygon Poncho. Uh, uh. Oh. Cal. Oh. Anybody got it from Cal? That's, That's true. True. be cool. You know, like Kyle's just got a bag of them. You could change yeah, into it yeah. any time in the game. That's yeah. true. And he's got the Inquisitor <laughs> outfit. He does. Yeah. Uh, I love Kyle and the Inquisitor outfit. Me too. Yeah, Every good. time I play it, I put that on. Oh, yeah. And then, like, my brother no, would get back that. on. He, like, Austin would get back on to play it. And he'd be like, who the hell changes? And I was like, it was me. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and he, he would switch it back. I don't think I have the Inquisitor costume. No? Ooh, so. You got to get it. Maybe yeah. I do. Was it DLC? Yeah. yeah. Free? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was free. Yeah. I might have it then. Yep. I have like the ultimate. I switched to red too, of course. You gotta have a red blade. Yeah, Austin, I think was always using the orange blade. I yellow, think. bro. Right. Yellow is my lightsaber color. Yeah. I, I like to go with orange for Cal because it's yeah. unique. Yeah. It Plus, it matches my hair. Yes. Yeah. 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 Of course. It's pubes. <laughs> real, real quick about Cal. I I saw this post on Reddit and I actually commented on it. Um, somebody asked like, who's better or who's the better Padawan, Cal or Kanan Jarrus? And you Ooh. guys will be surprised. I said it was Kanan. Kanan. Yeah, for Kanan, sure. Kanan is the legit last Padawan. Like he was it, and that's it, even the the name of the novel that, w- that that like that's about him. Like he's he, read that. he's seen more, he's done more, he's been through a tougher, longer road than Cal has. Yeah. That that we know of so far. So as much as it pains me to say it, but I can admit that Kanan Jarrus is a better Padawan. So far, than Cal to, like so if far. we get more yeah. story for Cal, it might switch. Because he he goes blind. He, he, he becomes himself. a master. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Kanan is definitely better. Yeah, yeah I, I see what you're saying. It's a good point. Um, I want to get your take on Eclipse being pushed back to 2028. Oh yeah. <laughs> you look, look, look. I, I'm it's not I'm happening, right? No, it's, it's not. not. It's not happening. It's not. I that said that when the trailer happen. came out. I was like, yeah. no way it's we, can, we should just put that in our top ten next episode for things that we want <laughs> that are never <laughs> happening. <laughs> Eclipse. <laughs> I want this video game called Eclipse where it's like in the High Republic. Yeah, that's what I want. <sighs> They're gonna. Th- they always do this shit. They always give you the the thing that looks the coolest is the one that doesn't come out. But yeah. fucking oh, resistance yeah. comes out. I, yeah. I yeah. Gives me it gives me an actual headache. It gives me an actual fucking like I don't I feel understand. that. Yeah. How are you gonna let something that looks this dope just, just yep, not happen? just let it fall? I Fucking mean, maybe, idiots. maybe I mean, video games notoriously get pushed back and like all of a sudden will come out randomly. You know, um, look at Skywalker Saga for on Lego. Wasn't that for that's, that's true? That. They oh, do keep pu- they did keep wait. pushing and pushing that back. The Mando we need, we need one to get and two. Together night and play that. 
Yeah, that'd be cool. That's they do have they have multiplayer on this one, right? Where you yeah, can like yeah, yeah. split screen multiplayer. No, it's not split screen. Lego's always done the same we screen. We should do that. Get it like a play play together. Like all get together. And that'd play be cool. It. That'd be fun as shit. I agree. Um, so Inquisitors, Luke, uh, obviously, and there was there was I don't know if you noticed this, Brad, but there was a lot of parallels to young Anakin when he's pod racing when Luke is on top yeah. of the yeah the and house. the goggles yeah. and everything. Yeah, with the yeah. goggles. So. I loved it. I love the super nerdy cut that like doesn't affect the story or anything, but if you know it, it's cool. The EOP he's writing is from oh. the comics. It's Rue from oh, the comics. The one in the picture that he's given like the water to. Or yeah, the and it's from Revenge of the Sith too. The end of Revenge of the Sith in ah, the comics. Yes. It's the same EOP. Duh. So that's just a random Very nerdy cool. thing. Is it the same one from Rise of Skywalker at the end? That's n- different species. I, I don't know what that thing's called, but oh. that creepy looking side eye camel thing. Yeah, that's yeah, it's called a uh, camel Skywalker. Right. <laughs> no one's been here in so long. What's your name? Camel. Ray. Camel who? Ray Sky. Camel Toe. <laughs> Directed by George Lucas. <laughs> um, anything else that stands out from the trailer? God, I mean, like, everything. I mean, everything but stands out. But, just yeah. but like, trailer. everything but so little. Like I said, it's like, y- you think about it, you get the Luke, you get Duel of Fates, Battle of the Heroes, Obi-Wan, obviously looking. Now, you told me in the picture, you're like, he doesn't look as old as I thought he would. Yeah, he doesn't. I, I think he looked older in the trailer. I think yeah. he, he yeah. he's a little bit more worn yeah. than I anticipated in the trailer. I, I wanted I was kind of hoping he would have some gray in his beard. You got to be edging towards that if we're only sure. ten yeah. years out. I mean, yeah, because in the New Hope, he's all gray. We don't know how many time jumps these episodes are going to take. True, that's true. true. So, I, uh, I hope none. I want I want a story to kick off, and it. Here's my dream scenario: six episodes of. Him getting contacted by uh, the only ca- tie-in I would I would accept would be Ahsoka, uh, if she because it's the uh, ideal next show, yeah. Well, that and also it would make sense for r- what I'm about to say because well, he knows Ahsoka, so yeah. He knows Ahsoka. Ahsoka knows that it's it's Anakin at this point. Somebody if has it's to let before him know. Rebels, she doesn't know. This isn't before Rebels. It is. It yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Rebels yeah. is Rebels is a lot closer to God damn it. yeah. Because oh, at this point, mind. Luke and Leia are ten. Luke and Leia are like fifteen in Rebels. Oh, I forgot so they're yeah. in Rebels. Yeah. Well, Luke's not, but Leia is. Well, Leia. You, you could do the opposite of that because re- remember how Ahsoka always alluded to kind of knowing or kind of in thinking Rebels. That Vader she's always like, yeah. So maybe yeah. what if Confirmed. what if Kenobi like they get together and Obi Wan tells her, and she's in denial and she's like, no. No, no way. And then they kind of just leave each other. How it? So here, here's could be, yeah. This That'd be, be this was, really this cool. This was my pitch Emotional. From, from this. This was my like elevator pitch. And it, or he finds out somehow, however you want to make it happen, that he is still Vader. Decides while these Inquisitors are coming to hunt down the Jedi to try to turn him one last time. And that's the story. That's all I want. Him finding him. Yeah. Because there's the, there's this line in A New Hope where he says, the last I saw you, I was the, you know, now I'm the master. Now yeah. I'm the master. The last time you saw him, he was cut in half and yes. left yeah. for dead on Mustafa. Yeah. And in so Return of the Jedi, Vader tells Luke that Obi-Wan once thought as you do. That yeah. Luke is thinking he can turn him. Turn Obi-Wan so never thought he could be. turn Anakin. That's it's always like been my crutch with yeah. this. Where it's like you have, to yep. you've, you have to explain those two things. Because oh, cool. that's the original trilogy. Of yeah. course, of you course, Obi Wan wants to tur- turn him. I think you're on to something. That's there. what I want. That's the yeah. only thing. When I we want see Obi Wan in A New Hope, he's like, I've, "He's more machine. I've given. I'm giving up. There's no hope." Like, here's how he little I w- I care about Luke on this. Yeah. we know what happens with Luke. We know he's fine. Should let there be some kind of some uh, Uncle Owen making him not want to be interacting with Obi Wan. That's fine. Like, even if they're like family friends at one point. If all I get of Luke is what we saw in the trailer, I'm good. I, I think want that's this to be what we're going to get. I want this to be Obi-Wan and Anakin's story. Yeah, sure, I think that's it. have to be there to push the pace and make, the, make a threat. Fine. I want this to focus on Vader slash Anakin and Obi-Wan. And I want this to be the mm-hmm. last time. And all the Inquisitors. The yep. last time that they have a conversation as Anakin and Obi-Wan. That's all I want from this show. I think you can do it. I think we'll episodes. get that. I can't wait for the, the second for the clone. Oh, my God. Hayden Christensen in, in fucking Clone Wars Anakin. In the armor. In the garb. Oh, yeah. my God. That's going to look amazing. That. All the figures that are going to drop from that, too. Like, Wow. Man. Yeah. I can't wait. There's so many good possibilities and, like, live action possibilities. I, there's so many. But I just really hope they – Disney – and not, it's not, I'm not blaming Disney. I'm blaming Star Wars. Star Wars has this tendency, even with the books, 
where you think they're going in one direction. And they start to. And they start. And, and you're like, that's a great go, idea. Oh, great idea. Fuck that. We're going to do this. And yep. you're like, write that. That's more interesting. Why yep. are you doing this? Give me the more interesting thing. I yep. don't know. But it's, I uh, think if this is going to be what we want, and I don't think they're going to deviate at the last second and not. I just don't want them to focus on, this is so popular, we should do a season two. Tell me the fucking story. Give me the story that I'm craving over here. And if you want to do more of Obi-Wan, you know, being the mayor of Tatooine or whatever the fuck you want him to do, that's fine. <laughs> but give me this interesting story first and don't leave it on a Believe you mean the just major just domo me. of Tatooine? Just so wash your hands Diamo. of this story. Diamo, yeah. yeah. No, I, d- I just have one request that I don't want to see out of this, and I believe you gentlemen will agree with me. Let Maul's story be yep. Maul's story. It's I done. I do not want to see live-action Darth Maul in no, this. No, it's I done. Don't. Oh, please, God, no. I don't. No. His, his arc in Rebels and Clone Wars is beautiful. Yeah. It's done. It's done. And Let he doesn't done. need he doesn't meet Obi-Wan Again, until so in Rebels, Rebels and Twin exactly. Sons when he dies. Yep. Yeah, it's one so of the coolest scenes of Rebels. Yeah, I, we all agree. I don't think anybody, yeah. well, there are people. For the most part, I feel like that's a majority. They're like, we don't need Maul, we got it. Especially we got the Maul's. fight, Obi-Wan changes his stance. Yeah, he goes from the Obi-Wan point to the Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon. Like, yep. Oh my god, it's so it's good. The best. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. That's perfect. It's the best. Like, if that didn't exist, sure, give me it to me now, obviously. Right. But it exists. The problem with this show is that it's so goddamn tempting to throw all this shit together I know. and make it like Fan Fest 2022. Yeah. And I, I, I hope they w- don't do that. I don't need to see Panda Baba and whatever the <laughs> fuck the dude's like. I don't need to Dr. see. <laughs> Dr. Avazon. I don't no, want don't. Any of that shit. I don't nope. want to see characters from the cantina. I don't. No, please. Just give a good fucking story. This I is the one yeah. time I'm begging for no fan service. I think we're going to get more Uncle no Owen service. than you think, too. I mean, th- there's, there's already fan service in it with Vader and Anakin. Yeah. But that's a story. And the I know, Fortress I know. Inquisitorious is big time in a good way, well, I'd say. Because, like, no one knows. That makes sense. That yeah. That, it, it does make sense. Yeah. To me is something that kind of sticks out, like, in Rogue One, seeing Ponda Baba. There's yeah, no that, that doesn't do to anything yes. for the story. No reason. Fortress does play big yeah, in the yeah, story. So, yeah. Fan service to me is something that is separate from the story. If it fits in the story, to me, it's not fan service. But like Ponda, like I said, Ponda Bobo on Rogue One, there's no goddamn reason for that. Nope. It also doesn't make any sense because it's right before he just leaves from there and gets escapes on Jedi, goes yeah. to Tatooine. Doesn't make any fucking sense. No. It's useless. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I don't care. It's dumb. So I'm all I'm all for fan service when it's done well. I just this this to me this should be a very serious story. Yeah. It shouldn't be something that is just like here's this character from Tatooine. Here's this character from Tatooine. You don't want Max Here's Rebo? No Max no, Rebo? No. no. I don't want to see R5. Like, for real. I, I truly don't. Like, I want this to be a straight... Pelimato? What if Pelimato's around? No. I, no. I, I want to no, see... No. I want this to be a straightforward <laughs> Obi-Wan She story. wouldn't fit in this show at all. As much as we're starting to like her, she would not... I don't want her in this show either. It's a little lighter. In, yeah. like, the beginning of... Kind of, of. As, as the first episode starts, as Obi-Wan's looking for his hut to live in, he walks into one occupied by Pelimato. A Jawa, and too. And Jawa, and they're banging. <laughs> That would be funny. That, <laughs> would, oh, that, that would be funny. No, do you got it's serious note. You think we might get a Saw Gerrera? No, I, I think I, that's I, I gonna be safe for Andor. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, okay. Yeah, I, think, I, think uh, so. I keep fucking forgetting about Andor. Right? Right? No one does. No one gives a shit. I Watch it come out and be better than we all expected. Right, right. I I'm think sh- it's gonna I be expect good. It's not like, gonna be bad. It's not no, it's bad, not gonna be bad. But who gives a fuck? Why are you putting the resources into making this show when there's ten thousand other stories that I care about? I'm with you. And everyone else cares about way more than this guy. The yeah. only the only part about Andor that I'm looking forward to, uh, Krennic, Krennic, and uh, p- the too. potential of a live action Hera Syndulla. So yeah, live yeah. action what? Hera, Hera Syndulla. Oh, and maybe even Harrison. Cham. I was like, Harrison. maybe even Cham Syndulla too. Why not? Yeah. They throw yeah, him in yeah, there. Yeah, they might get Cham. Yeah, Pilots look good in uh, Mando and Boba Fett, so I'm here for. They look real Pilates. good. No more trend oceans, please. Look <laughs> those look horrible. God, looks Land good. of the Lost, looking Cecil Flax. <laughs> or like s- yeah, those are bad. <laughs> look like the uh, the the long lost. Oh, I think it was ABC uh, dinosaurs <laughs> sitcom. Yep, yep. Yes. That was Disney. Not the mama. That, was, so that was, was Disney good. ABC. Yeah. yeah, Disney and Jim Henson. Yep. Not the mama. Um, all right, what else we got? We're gonna get, I think, a lot more Uncle Owen than we expect, and I, I think so. I think that's good because I, I want. Yeah. That. There has to be a reason that he doesn't like. There has Obi-Wan. to be a rift right. for him to be like that old coot in the desert. Yeah, like exactly, because what last you see is him giving him his. his and yeah, they're obviously. I, so yeah. there has to be some buds. reason. Like yeah, I think it's going to be just a mutual agreement at the end of the series where the two of them say like we can't act like we know each other kind of thing. Yeah, because you keep bringing these see, inquisitors I, here. I, like, yeah. yeah, we <laughs> can't I, have that. I, you I, killed my first two wives. <laughs> I think it's going to be simpler than that. I they're all named Aunt Peru. He just keeps dating women named Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be simpler than that. I think it's just going to be the fact that 
it's it's a bad look to have a known Jedi around your house. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, man, leave us the fuck out of it. He's yeah. not showing any signs of Force sensitivity. Leave him be. If you love him, and y- 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 if you want what's best for him, for him, just please yeah. leave him alone. I th- and then yeah. Obi-Wan's gonna be kind of pushing back, like, no, the Force is strong with him. I sense it. I think you're gonna get some shit like that. And I think that's gonna be the rift of when he's like, get the fuck out of you, space wizard. Go to your little. Especially because Obi Wan thinks what? Luke well, is the chosen one. Well, so he's gonna be <laughs> super like hardcore, not giving up because he thinks Luke is the chosen one. Yeah. So he's like, I I can't leave him, yeah. Uncle o- or I not Uncle Owen, but Owen, I can't. Owen. I guarantee you, we're gonna see s- signs of Luke's force ability because we never get that. Is he gonna be bullseyeing ro- womp rats in his T sixteen? Yeah. You don't get it even in a New Hope. No, you don't. He That's just why I don't walks want it. into it. Because it wouldn't make sense for him to have it as a nine-year-old. It would make f- it makes sense if he was a chis. I'm trying to think. Have he doesn't do anything. Like the oh, yeah. the freaking sand people take him out like nothing. There's even sp- like I even so have I'm always felt that the use the force Luke thing was Obi Wan guiding that into the Death Star. Yeah, I never did until like a, a year or so ago, and I'm like, yeah, I can kind of see that. Like he doesn't show it any. I mean, maybe no. for a second with the lightsaber, with the training. He remote, does block a few like of them. Barely, he gets his ass beat by that. He, thing he too. does. Yeah. But that's such a good moment that the first time he uses it full on is, you know, I'm fine guiding. with either way. Yeah. But I've always kind of in my I- when I w- even when I was a kid, I was like, I was always kind of going, was that him or was that Obi Wan that does that? Like, mm. it's just weird. I think it's cool saying that it's like training he does wheels. Say, use the Force, Luke. Not watch me use the Force. Yeah, Luke. yeah. So but I maybe it's Luke and Obi Wan together using the Force, like training wheels. You know, it's like yeah. here, this is how you do it. I'm helping you. I just really but you're do doing think, it too. Yeah, I really do think we're gonna get uh, some signs of it because they even shoehorned Leia showing signs of it in Leia, Princess of Alderaan. Yeah. in the books. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. I wonder when they're gonna give somebody like Claudia Gray a chance to write an episode of a show. <sighs> that would be Solomon. amazing. I mean Both of them would be the best two picks yeah. by far. This her, her this high book that she wrote is so goddamn good. I haven't had a chance to read it again. I've just been so goddamn busy this week. But this weekend, I'm plowing through it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get done with it because it is so fucking good. I have time. She's never done a bad book. It. It's just not possible. No, she's even so if she good. tried, she couldn't do a bad book. It's so. Just stop with Geo. <laughs> um, all right. What, what else we got? Well, as we wrap up on Kenobi, um, we got a bunch of DLCs for Skywalker Saga and oh Lego. Nice. We got Mando season one and two. <laughs> we're getting Solo. We're getting Rogue One. And what else, Brad? You and I talked about this. I don't remember who else. Uh, I think you got them all. Okay, baby Rogue One, Mando One, Mando and Two, and Solo. Baby, baby Yoda, Grogu's gonna be there. Yes, he will. Uh, I think that's it. I think you got it. Oh, Bad Batch, Bad Batch, Bad Batch. That's yes. right. That's right. That's right. That's what I told told you about. Yes, it's yes. such <laughs> a funny dichotomy because like I love Legos and Star Wars Legos, but I'm like. I'll play the game, sure. I don't care. Oh, but I'm actually excited. but I you don't, don't like Legos at all, at all, but you are you're jacked I for this game. Lego it's such a weird fun. like dichotomy. Lego to games me. are so much fun though, and I know they are. And so having all nine, I can do. Yes. Any, like people play Lego Battle of Crate is gonna be the fucking shit. Yeah, fuck oh yeah. yeah, it's gonna be amazing. God. Yeah. I can't wait for that. I so that's wait. that's that's the one Did Star Wars game that I can look forward. For to. clarification, just for I think I think you told me this already, but it's free DLC, correct? It yes, better be. Yes. I didn't see it was paid. It's not yet. made it by EA, paid. okay? It's made by Lego. So let's, <laughs> let's calm down. That's true. Loot box. Premium. Loot box. God damn. Premium. Um, boy, I feel like Kenobi overshadowed pretty much everything else that well, happened. The biggest week. piece of news was going to be That's celebration true. tickets are back yeah, next so week. Are back. That was oh, going to be I the biggest news, but they're like, nah, Kenobi. So like, but still, that's big news. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday? They're, they're the 15th. Even, they're even doing the Jedi Pass again. Yeah. Here's the thing. But you have to wear masks. They announce you have to wear masks. Nope. No thanks. So, so I don't I'm out. I'm, I don't think I'm going. If nope. you have to wear a mask, I'm yeah. out. Yeah. I was like, well, I kind of have the money for that right now, but well, here's the thing. also no. If I'm going again and if I'm buying a ticket, I'm not – I will only buy the 900 – this is how much it is, $900 Jedi Pass. I know that sounds insane, but it is so goddamn worth it. I'm at I'm the point, you, though. like You neither one of you have been to Celebration. No. It. You will spend – the night, I mean, two nights in a row, I sp- uh, in line, I spent 24 hours in line over two days. Sheesh. It is so not worth it. They're letting those Genie Plus people go in front of you. It's That's this why. This is the Jedi Pass. They only sell, like, X amount of them, and you have, you can walk right in. You have 30 minutes before the thing starts. Is there a Sith Pass? Right in. Is there a what? Sith Pass? No. Of course not. It's a Jedi Master. They're not, the Jedi won. Sometimes. Or should <laughs> I say now it's all the time? celebration. Every time. Yeah. It is a celebration. But I, I will only go... Because here's the thing: when we, when I went as media, when me and Josh went and me and Alex went as media, sometimes they'll let you in, sometimes they don't. So you, you selective, have a, like literally. I mean, d- dude, me and Josh stood in line for 20 hours for a panel. 
Wow. Man, if I can spend nine hundred dollars and, and not, not do that, fucking do that, I'll do it. But I'm not <laughs> yeah. going if there's if there's mask. I'm just not. yeah, yeah, no, same. I just, I, I'm not going to walk around for three days in a fucking mask. Nope. I'm sorry. Like and I see, I, I live in Florida. I know I'm very spoiled. I just I yeah. don't care. I did my part. I got hey. vaccinated. I'm fucking done. Yeah, I'm done. we're I'm we're done. we're done with that. I'm done. Yep, we're, we're done. done. So Take it off. We of moved on. Fucking transportation now. God, they, they pushed it back again to like April well, 15th. Or no, something I shit. don't even. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about planes. Oh, this is gonna, oh planes, about planes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The, oh, the CDC pushed it back again to like April 15th or something. So as long as after April 15th they take it off, I'm happy because that's when I fly next. Yeah, but they're so not. that's the thing. They're, they're uh. gonna hang on to this as long as they fucking can. Yeah, so dumb. I'm flying 11 days later after the 15th. So yeah, I'm right after it. So. <sighs> Where but are you going? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to New York. I'm uh, going to a less exciting what are you Indiana. New York for? Just sh- to show Courtney the city she's never been. Oh, no, nice. Yeah. I've never been. Nice. been you don't take me. What's up with that? I, be, <laughs> I don't screw you. So that's our problem. <laughs> it is our problem. That's why I'm not taking you to New <laughs> York. <laughs> Evan. Yet. Yet. Uh, <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to Indiana for a wedding. So. Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Man, Indiana. That's wait. What week is this? Easter. For me. God damn it. I'm going to be by myself. Yeah. Holly's going on a cruise the week oh, before man. Star Cruiser. Oh, jeez. Oh, they, yeah. <laughs> the week before Star Cruiser is when I'm in New York. God damn it. Oh, man. man. I'm going to so be by myself. We, we, we stay at, um, and, and unfortunately, that's the week I was going to ask you to watch Winston. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we go. I'll have three dogs by myself. It's yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stay at uh, Beach Club on my birthday, April 25th, and then we're going to fly to New York on the 26th. Nice. Yeah. Doing the concierge cool. level. I think Can you've I done that. Uh, yeah, Beach Club. Yeah, Beach I've Club never done that. I want to. Yeah. It's I so can't wait. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, one more last thing before we wrap this episode up, because we're already 45 in. We'll keep it short, because it's mostly Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Um, I'm tired of... Well, I get, we'll talk a little bit of Halcyon for a second. Oh, yeah. I'm tired oh, yeah. of getting people bitching at me that I'm going on the Halcyon. Who's doing yeah. that? Have you been Nobody, seeing this? No Nobody's one's doing that. To me yet, no. no, not to me. I Everyone's like, whoa, that's awesome. Tell me. Is elitist? I'm like... What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it on Facebook? No, I read it. Oh I really? Posted, I posted like merch from the house. Oh, okay, that's there. why I don't. I'm not posting as much. I'm not responding. Ow! I'm not responding to any other. No, I don't. I don't give a shit. Nope. But like, you're an elitist. You, you, 99 percent of people can't afford to go on this. That's okay. bullshit. I was like, For, yeah. First bullshit. off, that's a lie. But not that it's anyone goddamn business. Anyone's goddamn business. But just for the redditors out there who are in their mom's fucking basement, which actually I like Reddit. But all you fucking cunts, I took money out of a 401k to go. Okay. I don't have that kind of money just lying the fucker. Not, not that it's anyone's business, but just so you fucking know, I don't have a job where I make that kind of money where it's just not a fucking problem. No one in this room makes that makes fuck you money. No one in this room nope. makes fuck you money. So All three of us combined still probably don't. Like so, I, I mean, no, like it, go fuck yourself. You can go to. You're bitching about it because you you work at Taco Bell. Or whatever the fuck your problem. Even is. if you do work there, you could still make it happen. You, you just gotta sacrifice happen. for a couple you months. Sh- you Live within your means. They're a twenty-hour-a-week dog walker. Get the fuck out of here, man. Moderator for our anti-work. Maybe. That but it's not that hard. <laughs> People, if you really want something in life, you'll make sacrifices, not you excuses. Can make it if you really want to go. Exactly. I love how it went from this sucks, no one likes us, this is terrible. Yep. To now, all of a sudden, that now it's not terrible. Now you're lucky to go. And I'm still sitting there going, "You gotta wait for a while, get uh, real reviews." Lynn Testa. We have been getting real reviews. That's the North Star for real reviews. Yeah. He got banned from media by, I don't know if anyone knows this. I don't know if Just from one this. review. He got on banned show, from media yeah. before because yeah. of one bad review at California Grill. Crazy. He has no interest in lying to you. Right. He paid oh. out of yep. pocket for this experience. He and he's going to tell you the price. truth. He loved it. Yeah. So and he's not even a Star Wars fan. He, correct. He had a great time. Yep. So it's no, no, it's, it's not way for real. You want to wait till someone says something bad about it, and then you'll believe the bad thing. And you'll only you'll talk about that it's one bad thing. Confirmation bias. Yep. Look, Brad, you're gonna learn quick being new to Reddit. It's in, ladies and gentlemen, the following opinions are that of one only Tom Oakery, and I'm like I've said before, I am a libertarian. It's a liberal cesspool. Okay. That's Reddit all, is all yes really? everywhere. I <sighs> promise you. That's why they're calling you fucking elitists. Oh, because yeah. so come word. on. Come on, but <laughs> in, 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 and again, people don't just take that as I'm one side. I'm not the two sides things bad. But anyway, I'm getting off the beaten path here. It's been one of those weeks where I've been sick of the government. So, <laughs> um, um, so uh, yeah, it's just they're 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 just like you say, grandma's basement. You know, she's she's upstairs, 90 years old on oxygen, and these still smoking. Yeah, still smoking. But they're screaming for her to come downstairs and give them their heated up pop tarts because they can't Ma. get up. Ma, where's the meatloaf? Yeah, that. They can't get up the stairs without fucking losing their breath because they're <laughs> 450 pounds and TLC's waiting outside with a camera crew. Is he 600 pounds yet? 
Can we <laughs> film them? Call us in three weeks when you're 600. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just, I just, uh, it's just so f- funny that we live now where it's bad to t- be able to do things. You know what though? This is like you the whole fucking piece of shit. What? It's like the Tim Tracker sweater thing. Day, it's just the fifty hour weeks every fucking. That's all week? it is. It's just a Tim Tracker sweater thing. Like, oh my god. Let him buy that if he wants to. Who cares? You remember that, right? I do. Oh, I do. Was oh, it a yeah. Gucci sweater or something? Yeah. Or yeah. Hey, guess House what? House of Gucci. It's speaking. It's not your money. No. You don't have to worry about it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Also, why are you bitching at a YouTuber? <laughs> if you want to get mad at someone, go after the oil companies. That, yeah. That do shit. That's like actually bad. Yes. Go after ma- weapons manufacturers. Go after those fucking people. It's like people call racism on uh, on Twitter. Go like after Russia. KKK is on Twitter, guys. Yeah, Go after I know. those guys. Putin's still on Twitter. Putin's yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> he is. And he's he's done he a lot worse people. things he than had, than he Orange Man. He authorized the killing of countless people in the Ukraine. What 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 what, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Get, get, stop it. The internet's a fun place. It's stupid. It, it's it's a fun dumb. place. I just oh then the don't say gay bill thing and it's just like oh my god you're oh, that's, missing the point that's this hold on I've got one thing to say and I, I'm not a parent and you're, you're not missing the fucking point but guys. And, and but but the, the 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 don't say gay thing just can we just keep government out of school and let the fucking parents decide Jesus tap dancing it's Christ it's so fucking stupid yeah it, it's so it is guys. stupid the the, the I, I'm torn on the bill because I don't think I want my seven year old politics. learning about trans people right i, I, don't, I get that I yeah. not in that way anyway uh, at no, that age yeah, let them figure it out for themselves the, it, it's yeah. a block for i think he said from like kindergarten to third grade where they're not going to talk about it they shouldn't be talking about sex anyway no kindergarten to the, third grade. when i was in when i was in seventh grade is when we learned about yeah it was middle school like for me too yeah, seven, yeah. seventh grade sex yeah. ed was in like seventh grade like, like the why Robert is it why what t- please explain to me why a kindergarten needs to know anything kindergarten needs to know anything about sex and There's then, and then no I reason to why this is a bad thing. I, they shouldn't know about straight sex. It has nothing to do with gay people. They shouldn't know about any of this shit when they're I kids. Agree. They're yep. fucking third kids, grade. man. Yeah. They're children. Yep. Please, please g- give me a, a scenario where my, my third grader needs to know about any c- sort of sexual activity. Ass please. and titties. Ass and <laughs> it does titties. It, I, I don't get it. It's, it's, it's the dumbest shit ever. I, it I, is. I don't know. It is. I, don't, I don't truly don't know enough about it to even comment on it, but I'm just tired of this back and forth. It's like I, I know it's something something isn't as bad as they're making it out to be when each side is yes, screaming at the exactly. other side. It's <laughs> like, can we look at actually what it is? There's and then can we go yeah. from there? There's there's always the left, the right, and the truth. The That's truth is Trump. somewhere. Yeah. Well, you're starting to see people's opinions changing about Trump. You see the video about about him with the Biden thing about his no. saying if when Biden's president, you're gonna be paying five, six, seven dollars a gallon for gas. <laughs> Did I not know. I haven't seen that. that I was, see. It was recent. It was like within huh. the, yeah. like it was been servicing again over the last few days because uh, he fucking nailed it. The first thing Joe Biden did when he got into oh, I'm tired of talking about this. Uh, he got in was was sh- close down the pipeline and you oh, crippled Keystone, us. Yeah. Yeah. You, you crippled us. I mean, like l- that was his day one thing. First thing he did was not, now you've made us <sighs> dependent on other countries like yeah. again. Russia. Again, and then now shit like this happens. Drill, baby, fucked. drill. We're fucked. I mean, like Alaska's got place. enough. The shit's done already. I saw this. Uh, the Babylon Bee posted uh, um, U.S. sells Alaska to Russia so they could start drilling for oil there. <laughs> 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 I, I about died. That's fucking yeah. funny. But oh yeah, yeah we can stop there. I'm look, look. Sorry we get off the beaten path on that. It's, it's real word shit sometimes gets in. We like to have fun here. Yeah. A little bit of levity. Kenobi's going to be great. We're going to yes. walk yep. in on Peli Mato fucking a Jawa. Oh, yeah. So. He's going to be blowing a jaw. That's what blowing I want. a jaw. Oh, I just want to see, like, fur. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why she's going to be so hairy. Yeah. <laughs> In the mouth area, maybe it's you know a little younger Pele Mato. Maybe it's played by Margot Robbie or something. Oh, that would be a the worst aging ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Tatooine does to you, though. Yeah, Tatooine look what it did to Obi Wan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, that's Root. also now the stress of the Inquisitors. You see, yeah, what that's true. When the presidents go in out of office in four years, they they that look too. like fucking shells of themselves. Yeah, they really do. Every single one of them. Yeah, and black Except doesn't Biden, crack. I don't think he's gonna even know what the fuck is happening. Black doesn't crack, and I agree with that. It doesn't. People, doesn't. though, they Obama don't age. Like shit. No, he Americans still looks age, stunning. But then, yeah, Obama. Obama all like those shit. eight years, he looked eight really years old. Is a lo- I mean, imagine that kind of stress for eight fucking years. Yeah, it's bad. Fucking day. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't envy Joe Biden. Don't get me wrong, but like, what in the fuck? That is. That's. It's gotta be the. Who wants that fucking job? Who the fuck wants that? What kind of? That could, dude, I can't handle my job. Sometimes <laughs> I I'm can't like, handle my stress. And then you have to worry about everyone's everything on for the planet years? get the fuck out of here it's insane mm-hmm. that anyone would even want that job anyway uh top 10 this next episode of the show we're doing top 10 things we want in star wars that sounds very vague and that's the reason because <laughs> it is 
we really just were going, what can we do that's something different? And I think yeah. this is going to be a fun episode to do because we can we can literally go, I want this movie. I want this book. I want this yep. video game. We can be anything you want told in Star Wars. That's going to be the next episode on Wednesday. So and we're going to have so much to talk about the next two, three, four, how many episodes? Because next week... I'll be coming to you live for you guys, live for you too, not for the listeners, but live from a galactic Star Cruise. That's so, so fucking nuts. Are you excited? This time next week. What time is it now? It is. Hold on, guys. I got this. It is 7, <laughs> 10 Eastern Standard Time. Oh the yeah, last yep. Jedi is still canon. Yeah. So this time next week, I'll be probably still watching the finale. I don't know how long it takes, but I'm going to imagine it's still going on at this time because dinner starts at 530, so we'll see. Just yeah, just text us when you're like in your room or something. And yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm building up next to or building up to it next week by Tuesday night I'm gonna watch the last uh, the Force Awakens, sorry. Wednesday night I'm gonna watch The Last Jedi. Nice. And then Thursday I'm gonna check into the Star Cruiser. Very good. So that's throw Solo how it in takes there too. Only for the simple aesthetic of uh Dryden Voss's ship. Yeah. They copied a lot of that stuff. Yeah, that's true. Stuff. I'll throw that in there to begin with. Maybe like Sunday or night or something, so it's not too connected. But yeah. The build cool. up is real. I got a week. I got to see that Halcyon saber today that you have so for the first right. time in Beautiful. person. Like, well, I saw it in person, but I got to hold it, and like, it's perfect. Perfect. The rubber perfect. grips so at the much. bottom, the angled it. emitter, perfect. It's one of my favorite lightsabers of all time, especially now that I have it. And like yeah. Hold, hold it Something out. that we didn't even know existed a week ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago, whatever. We're like, it's one of the best. It's beautiful. That's awesome. They crushed it. Uh, all right, thank you for listening to this episode of Jedi Talk. Also, I don't know if we've ever said this on the show. Our episodes came out Monday and Wednesday. Monday is the, sh- is the show you're listening to now. Wednesday is the top ten shows when we do those. But uh, And also, thank you for last week. We had the biggest day we've ever had in the history of the podcast as that far as downloads nuts. go. Crazy. It was insane. So thank you guys for listening and sharing the word. Please keep t- continuing to do that. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Jedi Talk. Um, Evan, where can they find you? Find me on Instagram. Jedi Talk Sorry, Jedi Talk Podcast. Jedi Talk yeah, podcast. Jedi Talk Podcast. Instagram, Evan T. Boucher. I will be posting spoiler Spoilers for Stuck. the Halcyon, but I'll put spoiler warning before them. Um, so, I mean, Tom stayed how how long spoiler-free on Rise? Months. And it was you all the time. Because I months. always <laughs> said spoiler yeah. ahead. Spoilers ahead. I'm, I know. I'm not like these dicks on the internet that just were Halcyon. Here's a picture of Kylo Ren chopping off Gaia's head. Here you go. It's like, thanks. Spoiler thanks for that. I didn't. Rise. Yeah. All right, thank my you. My friend on uh, my friend Sean McCullough, who I typically go to Metallica concerts with that are not in the same city we live in, um, went to the parks like two months before I was going back and he kept he kept snapping pictures of Rise and sending it to me. I'm like, <laughs> you motherfucker, you gotta stop this. It's like Intentionally? Was, was he doing yeah, it on purpose? Well, well no, he, you know, he, he didn't know oh, I okay. did I thought it he yet. was like messing with and you. And he showed me BB-8 and Poe's X-Wing and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's, no, yeah, no, that's no, not no. huge, but that's yeah, too much. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I don't, I'm done. I don't, like, stop right there. So um, I'll be I'll be warning ahead of time. Tonight, kids. Woo, so we gotta wrap this episode. This next Noise, episode all right. Up. And then I will be on <laughs> YouTube, Evan, or no, not Evan T. Boucher, Happily Evan After with also spoilers, but I'll have spoiler warnings, so don't worry. Don't put spoilers in the thumbnails. Because I'm subscribed to you. Yeah, right? I hate the idiots that did yeah, that on YouTube. Don't do My that. titles and thumbnails will be spoiler free, I promise. Tom, where can they find you? At uh, Fourth Mother Box. Let's go there. Beautiful. Check out Fourth Mother Box. Great podcast. Uh, Robinson, uh, Battenson, whatever the fuck his name is going to be. Robert Batten Bat. Robert Batten Battenson. Bat- 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 yeah. Batman. Bat- Bat- um, no, I don't think Bruce Wayne, but I think Batman. I need to see more of Bruce Wayne. Didn't really get to see much of it. Oh, we weren't going to get Bruce Wayne in that. that that's. Second, third it's year good. Batman. It's, it's not called Batman. the Bruce Wayne. Yeah. It's called it's the Batman. Batman. Like, yeah. I also think people just know what's going on with Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Till then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always rise, Jedi Knight. I'm vengeance. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk. I am your host, Brad Hughes. The full council is here again. We are doing our top ten things we want.